again, this is Megan at Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum. Today we're going to be talking about the Kangaroo Wallaby 2 cabinet, which has been very, very popular lately. We do have this nice, big, beautiful workspace, which really makes people excited about it because you can work on those big quilts or bigger sewing projects that you're working on for it. One thing that I like is it does have this little extension back here. So you can put your scissors or pins or whatever you need to work on your project right here. Not to mention you've got that little forward section there as well where you can stick your serger or have some more room if you are working on a big quilt to hold the weight up. The leaf back here is nice and large so you don't have to worry about not having enough space while you're working on projects. But if you need to put it away, you can go ahead and put that down, close it up, and then you've got a much smaller footprint on this cabinet. You do have the nice little insert section for your machine as well. Right now it's set up so if I had an insert it could do the flat surface sewing, which is the perfect posture for you to use while you're sitting at your cabinet and sewing for hours and hours. You can bring it all the way up to the top, which is great if you have an embroidery machine or if you're working on a project that you need to use your accessory arm on. Or if you have little fingers or guests coming or someone you don't want to touch your machine, you can actually push it all the way down, put the little machine insert that comes with the cabinet over the top of it and tuck it away for later. One thing that's awesome is that there's tons of storage in this cabinet as well. Underneath this door here, you've got the thread rows and then you also have a little shelf, which we have pockets in. Pockets is the little kangaroo that kangaroo likes to include with their cabinets. And underneath this guy here, you've got enough space to store a serger or even um, one of those box bins to put some of your supplies away and a little closing drawer down there too. Now, if you do have guests or little fingers or people you don't want messing with your machines, you can close this cabinet up nice and neatly so that it almost looks like a side table at the end. So I can close this drawer and this one, and this cabinet actually has a little lock right there where I can lock it and make sure no one gets to my machines or any of my crafting supplies. It's super great for those sharp scissors and things like that too. If you're looking for a cabinet that's pretty vers versatile, has a nice big workspace, but can close up really nice and neat as well, I really recommend this guy. Come check it out at one of our four Rocky Mountain sewing and vacuum locations. We'd love to show you about it and have you sit and try it out. Have a great day.